Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, it's been a week since I last uploaded. I said I, I think two days ago, three days ago, I would upload and talk about something serious. Well, I'm making the video now. Uh, but I just realized like a lot of people that I know or someone knows are dealing with like depression or dealing with a lot and I just want to take the time out make this video hopefully brighten up the day because let's just be honest like negativity is draining as hell like there's a lot of people who feed off negativity like It, it just doesn't sit right with me when people feed off negativity and just are negative all the time. I don't like negative all the time. And there's people who I know personally that will look for just the littlest thing to get mad about. Like, even customers at my job do it. They, they'll be looking to start something and I'm like how the fuck are you that miserable where you want to start something with <laughs> someone who's just trying to do their job and there's times where I'm like alright Tim Usa. they nobody think of the Robin Williams quote don't fight with anybody who's ugly because they have nothing to lose even though I go a little too far with the quotes, like, this motherfucker is hideous. I ain't getting in a fight with him because he ain't got nothing to lose. I do. And <laughs> granted, like, he doesn't mean, like, physically ugly. He means, like, attitude-wise ugly. And me dealing with that almost on, like, a day-to-day -day basis at work can be draining. Like, the days I'm off, I tend not to do anything because I'm just mentally drained off of that. No, I don't deal with depression like mo other people do. But, yeah, sometimes it do get me down and depressed. Like, damn. I'm trying to do this and that, and I got too many people fucking with me. When do I get a break? And then... There's times where, like, you just got to say fuck it. And just ignore it. Or they're taking ki uh, taking ki uh, taking advantage of your kindness. You do got to, like, put your foot down. Sometimes bark back. And. Sometimes, like, people will be like, damn, he's an asshole. No, I gotta be an asshole because that's the only way you will leave me the fuck alone. I'm not an asshole, but you're making me be an asshole. That's not who I am, but you're making that side come out of me that I don't even like bringing out. And it's just weird like that. No, I'm going on a rant, but there's a... I know other people deal with this on a daily basis and it's just annoying and then like my advice to you is there's things that you can just rub off just like look shit huh what you say goes in and out the other ear okay walk away don't even like entertain it or anything even though, granted, there are people, even when you do do that, will still come in front of your face and you'll be like, oh my God. I just tried to avoid something and this person is trying to make the bad side come out of me. For what? What are you gaining out of? How are you that miserable where someone else's misery makes you happy? Like, how are you that miserable in life? And I, I tend to, like, steer away from that. 
I don't deal with it. I don't like it. I don't want to tolerate it. I don't tolerate it. And granted, like, even in relationships, like, granted, you're going to argue, but a red flag is when that person looks for something to argue about. If that person looks for something to argue about, you can either bring it up or say, I'm not going to deal with this and walk away. And there's a lot of people like that. Men are, There's some men that are like that. There's females that are like that. Majority of the time, females are not going to be sex. Not to try to sound sexist. It does sound sexist, but it's true. Like, there's females that will just look for something to argue about. Especially ghetto women. It's like, you what the fuck? I'm just trying to make you a cup of coffee. Why are you catching an attitude for it? Granted, you've been waiting for two minutes and you said you've been waiting for 15 minutes. What the fuck are you giving me attitude for? You have somewhere to go? Why the fuck did you come to a busy ass store? Go to a store that has nobody in it. Like, okay, cool. I can get my coffee and dip. Get my frappe and dip. Get my refresher and dip. But no, your fucking dumbass wants to come into my store that I work at that's one of the busiest ones in the whole fucking country. And want to fucking say some stupid shit. And I'm like, what the hell is going on here? What is this about? And then most of the time, you're just trying to do your job. But they make it seem like you're in the wrong. And that thing where they say customers is always right, suck my dick. God damn it. And I hope I don't get no fucking strike. Please, YouTube, don't <laughs> give me no strike for saying this, going on a rant for this. Because people need to hear this. People need to also, like, see this video and feel better about it. Like, damn, I'm not the only one going through something. Damn. I thought I was tripping. No, you're not tripping. You're, you're not crazy. It's society. Like, society is crazy. 95% of people that live on this earth, in my opinion, are just weird and crazy. Like, I just think so outside the norm to where... There's times where I'm like, damn, am I an alien? Why do I think like this? And other people even like, this motherfucker crazy. Nah, <laughs> I'm thinking the same thing about you. This, this motherfucker crazy. So now both of each other is looking at each other like we're fucking crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> Doesn't even make sense when I hear that in my head. But it kind of makes sense. People who can think know that it makes sense. Not to call people dumb or anything, but granted, people are dumb. <laughs> and yeah, I just got to get this off my chest. Like, if you're dealing with depression, things do get better. And what helps me when I go through, like, down times, I listen to an artist that I can relate to. The main artist I relate to Especially when I was going through what I was going through. Like, the freaking, damn, I, I, I'm homesick. Damn, I'm fucking dealing with this shit. I'm dealing with that. I'm depressed now. It was like, me and his spiritual, like, connection was on a whole nother level when he was dropping music because every time I was about to deal with something or go through something Hops had dropped a song and I was like damn I really needed him to drop a song and that bam and then another artist that I've really been listening to lately and it's been like helping me get through some things because there's times where I do feel like I am the light of someone's life 
and I'm the reason why they're going where they're going and not letting go of life and it kind of brings me down because I'm trying to because I'm not a selfish person at all I try to look out for people there's times where I'm not even looking out for myself but I'm looking out for other people it's just who I am I just it feels better when when I, I'm helping someone I feel better when I'm helping someone I feel better when I make someone laugh I feel better when I put a smile on someone's face. That makes me feel good. And when I don't do that, and it turns into an argument, like, I'm down. I, I, I just want to shut down. I don't want to talk to anybody. I don't want to hear anybody. I just want to be by myself. I want to isolate myself. There's times where I feel like I, ju I just want to, like, get lost in nature and then come back two weeks later and I'll probably feel refreshed but life doesn't always go the way you go go <laughs> want it to go I'm recording this late at night <laughs> 12 in the morning I haven't even Slept like I should be sleeping. Been at work for a long time, and I came home, worked out, showered, giving y'all my fucking day to day basis thing. Not every day to day though. There's other things I do outside of that, besides work. I have a life outside of work. Sex for people who don't have a life outside of work. I I can see why they're miserable. But don't bring it out on me or anybody else that don't deserve it. Bring it out on the people who do deserve it. Don't that, try to have someone who's nice has zero punching bag. It's not right. It's not right. But... I'm, I ranted long enough. I'm not gonna edit this. <laughs> Too lazy to edit. Um, plus, I know this will help someone else. That's what I'm here on this planet for. To make someone else's day. I know that's my purpose. I found that out few years back that's just who I am that's my purpose I think about it all the time I feel like that's my purpose to brighten someone's day up put a smile on someone's face that's just who I am but I'm gonna be tr more I'm gonna try to be more consistent with this uploading shit depending on if a good game drops, I know Far Cry seems good. I know Back for Blood looks good. But I'm really waiting to get a PS5 to start streaming again. Just because I feel like it'll be better that way. And I'm hoping like the streaming quality is a lot better on the PS5 than the fucking PS4. But I'm not I'm not in no rush to get a PS5. I can make more videos like this might think of another skit I won't be in no costume but I might come up with another skit probably try to find someone to be in a skit with but probably a co-worker that I'm really cool with be in a skit but yeah I'll see y'all in the next video hit like, subscribe share do all that <laughs> I'll see y'all in the next video